We are back for the playoffs. We are going to check out the highlights from the first leg away against Feyenoord, who we drew. So let's get to the highlights and the second leg match right after the intro. A lot on the line today. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Football Manager 21. This is episode 38 of our single team save with the Gruff Shop. Hit that like button if you like the content that I'm putting out. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell because that'll keep you up to date on releases for daily content for Football Manager 21 here on my channel. Thank you very much for the support that you give to me. Much appreciated. Let's get into some highlights here. I got to go play the match first, but highlights. Here's our starting lineup. Check it out. So we really need to do well here in this first leg. Away goals count a lot. So let's take a look. We get a corner. Servinka goes in, and it's our man. Well, I want to say that was Vicario, but it's not. It's our center back, Samir, that went up at the post and put the header in on the set. So putting us out to a 1-0 lead. And then, of course, breaking down our defense there, equalizing in the 28th minute, is Feyenoord. Remember, we're the bottom-ranked team in the playoff, so we're going to be underdogs big time. That gets over. Vicario taps it past the keeper for an easy goal. Puts us up 2-1, to one, 52nd minute. Feeling pretty confident right now. But then Vapor comes down the right side. A cross in. It's knocked away, but Vapor is still there. A lot of traffic that that ball goes through with no issue. Trost slots at home. That's an equalizer, and I am starting to panic. Gerber, back post. I believe that was Vicario getting that one. And it was. That was a brace, and we squeak out a 3-2 win. So that was huge. Vicario back on the goals so we got three days next match we'll be right back for that one i wanted to show you our youth intake here uh everybody that's 15 right in here are the guys that came in this year a few of them we have not signed but uh, you can see um rude Geenan, a central mid attacking mid four star potential pierre rocher a left winger uh, three and a half star potential. Trifon Soteropoulos, a five star potential player. So we'll pull him up real quick. Left winger, five foot seven, very pacey. Already has the ability to cross. He could probably play for us now, to be fair. Uh, Peter Bergsma, a central mid, someone that we would probably like to look at. Look at the passing on him. Needs to work on his pace, but it is trending upward right now. Uh, Gerson Pandoy, four-star potential. Adelong, uh, five-star potential striker. That's always nice. Already with 13 finishing, very pacey. Uh, needs to work on his mentals a little bit, but he's in the mix there. And I believe everybody else is a uh, second-year player. So that's our youth intake that we signed this year. Let's get into team selection for the second leg against Feyenoord today. Resnick and Vicario up top. Uh, Vicario just got an email. He just won his ninth player of the match for last match against Feyenoord. The club record in a single season is nine. So one more and he could break the club record there. Cervenka, Natumba on the wings. Olivier and Tielisman on in the central mid. Barisic, Gerver, Samir, Banachek on the back line. And Delcroft in goal. Hillman's working on match sharpness. Uh, Grutunk is not ready to play. He might be back if we go a little deeper into this playoff, which would be the final. I don't know if, uh, and being that I haven't made the final, uh, I don't know if it's a one leg or you know a single match or two leg like this. And Vicario offsides, taking a challenge up there to go goalward. We're going to encourage the team. They responded well to the team talk. 
Trost, hit it out. Resnick's on it. Lays it out to Vicario. Nice outlet pass. Vicario beats the tackle. And he's taken down hard in the box. There is no flag on that. Oh, Vicario looks astounded. I think he was positive he had earned a penalty there. It's in. Resnick. Oh, he couldn't get there. Natumba takes a crack. I think that would have had a shot. But Prasetio stopped it from going forward. And Cervenka brings it back in near post, and it goes right to Chick-fil-A. Mm. And I know that's not his name, but I see the hyphens, and that just it screams Chick-fil-A at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Come on, boys. 3-2 aggregate advantage, three away goals. We just need to play him tight and not give up a ton of goals here. They got, you know, even a 1-0 loss. Oh, what a save! But he can't knock it far enough away, and Vince Truss puts it in the net. Empty netter. That equalizes. That's not good. Good save by Delcroix. Should have had a defender there to support him and do a little bit better. Come on, boys. Put some defensive pressure on them. Barisic closes Vapor down. Big cross in. Olivier clears it out. Resnick's on it. Lucario's making the run. Look at Natumba out wide. There it is. And a big hard tackle. Natumba tracks it. Can't do anything with it. All right, Thielmans. Lots of space. Finds Vicario. He turns. Squared in. Natumba taken down in the box by Print. And that's going to be a penalty. And it's going to be Gerber's taking it, I'm willing to bet. And there is a penalty. And it is going to be Gerber. Can he make it count? And it goes near post. The keeper went the right way. Just enough power to sneak it over. His eighth goal of the season. And that gives us the 1-1 draw with the one goal advantage. Oh, this is going to be nerve-wracking. Let's demand more. Big foul, but no booking, evidently. Gerber lumps it up, down into the corner. Now see, if my player would have done that and left the ball that long, you know, you just know. Oh, a flick on Resnick. Second chance, it's in. Oh my goodness. Was there an offsides? Oh no, there's no way. Disallowed, oh my God. Oh, I need to see a replay of that. Come on. Hello. No, no replay. I mean, playoffs is on the line here. Promotion. Well, not promotion, but. All right. Let me know in the comments. Was he offsides? He did not look offsides. He took the shot and the ball came back to him. Pleased with your performance. They're inspired. Let's encourage him right out of the gate. The Tumba's not playing great, not playing horrible. Thielmans and Olivier are a little tired. Banachek just went tired. Oh, come on. Vicario. Thielmans tracks down into Cervenka. Olivier. Oh, he's tackled hard. If that's a card, he is gone. And it is second yellow, and he is gone. They are a man down. All right. Banachek, long throw. The header goes over. Still. 
still holding that 4-3 advantage. All right, let's make a sub here. Banachek is exhausted. Let's bring the uh, let's bring the Teb in on that side, and Olivier. Let's bring let's bring Laval in. Laval is leaving at the end of the season, but right now he's one of the better ones that we got. Seventieth minute. Oh, Vicario can't put it in the net. Chickalam with the save. They have really outplayed us, but we've got the better XG. Ten shots to eight, eight to five on target. I don't like living this dangerously. There's a save. I think even if they score one more, if we lose two to one. Oh, flick on header. Uh, Vicario cannot get to it. Cervenka looking for an outlet. There's a cross in. Cleared away. No threat. Arab gets it to the midfield line. Cervenka with the interception and promptly loses it. Natumba pounces on that one. It's a three on three. Vicario takes the crack. Come on, boys. All right, let's do a time waster here, if nothing else. Uh, Tealman's a lot of tired legs. I think I'm going to pull Cervinka. Let's put on Vogel out there. Some fresh legs. A 1-1 draw, and, and we win on aggregate. I don't think we go to stoppage time in this one. Vogel knocked away. Four minutes of stoppage time. Oh, Lopez beats Baracic. It's cleared out. That's got to be the end of the threat. All the way back to their keeper. Up across midfield quickly. Our defense has gotten back in position. And that's it, full-time whistle, and that's going to see us through 4-3 to three on aggregate. Very, very nice. Outstretched arms. We're in the finals. Let's take a quick look. Case is five appearances away, which will get us another $4.5 million. And we're going to play Case and AZ. Oh, my goodness. And it is going to be a two-leg match, so that'll be next episode. I was thinking if it was going to be a one-leg match, uh, we would uh, maybe do that today. But, yep, so next episode we'll play AZ twice in the finals because so much riding on that for Europe. Uh, let's see. Now, it's just, it's just, I don't know, is it that big of a deal? I'm trying to think now. It's for the Euro Cup. I mean, that's a big deal for us, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not Champions League. But that's okay. That's okay. It gets us into the group stage. So, yeah. Oh, and we picked up $10 million, $10.4 million. So that was good. Finances, taking a look at those, we're up to 30, almost $35 million in the bank. We have signed a player as well, Lucas Spans. We already looked at Bujetsky. He's a right winger. We brought in a central midfielder uh, from Sparta, and he may have played for us before. He did. He was a lone player for us. Yeah, thought the name was familiar. Uh, but anyway, so we brought him back. 20 years old, cost us $1.7 million. Uh, he can play defensive mid. He can play central mid, uh, deep-lying playmaker. But great first touch, great passing, and I think we're going to weed out a couple of our average uh, central midfielders uh, here in the off season. Uh, so went ahead and jumped on him. Didn't realize he had played for us before. But uh, anyway, next episode, playoff finals, Euro Cup group stage on the line. We could really use that for the reputation boost, if nothing else. Uh, but anyway, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Football Manager content here on the channel. 
Thanks for all your support, guys. We'll see you. Bye.